Good morning, P Nation. We're gonna start this video off differently because Leah has experienced some bed bugs. Yes, so like all on my neck, all around me, on my shoulders. I think, I think they must be from a pillow. It's just weird because they're not all over my body. They're just on my neck, mm -hmm. and I sleep like nestled up to my pillow. You know, we read that they can show up 14 days after you've gotten them. So I don't know when I've gotten them. They're like. Itchy right now. Weird thing is we've been staying in nicer places than normal because accommodations are kind of cheap in China So we we thought that this wouldn't happen here, but yeah. it did so yeah You woke up this morning and I was just itchy. I was just itching 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 and I reached over and I was like Zach Do I have any bumps on me? And he was like You checked the pillow and, and it looked like it had black dots on it, but like not everywhere and so just be Take precaution. We got me a new pillow. But if you've had experience with this in the past, you should definitely comment in the comment section below yeah. because I'm sure a lot of people that are watching this video are wondering yeah. what to do next. And we we checked the mattress, yeah. and it's fine. There's no no bed bugs that we can see. We looked online. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go out on the street, <sighs> explore these Yang. Today's gonna be an exciting day, but we just wanted to tell you about our life update. Rough morning. We are out on the streets of Lijiang, China. It is absolutely beautiful here. Oh, uh, there's like no one here because everyone's in the mountains. It's the clearest day it's been since we've been here. We've been here for about three days and it's just awesome here. And there's water trickling through the streets. This place is huge. We, went, we were in Dali earlier and it was kind of like this old town, but this is truly the Mecca. This is like 10 times bigger than the Dali old town. It is kind of commercialized, but it's still so beautiful. There's flowers everywhere. There's like Chinese lanterns everywhere. There's color everywhere. And everything is still really in like the Naxi old traditional Chinese style of yeah. architecture. It is just amazing. Beautiful. Okay, so we are now in the street, which I like to call the pinwheel street, because it's got all these little spinny things. And I was trying to find this street for almost 30 minutes to show you guys, but this place is so big, you get lost really, really easy. I've actually only been able to find it one time with Leah, but this place is massive. So half the fun of coming here is getting lost in all of the back alleys of the old town. The map doesn't look that big, but from here all the way to here takes almost 30 minutes to an hour. It's crazy. fresh glacier water coming right off the mountain. And in the old times they must have used it for everything. We even saw people washing their clothes in this water yesterday. And now we're on a street that's like the club scene. We have been in China for 20 days and we haven't found any like party places, except this street has at least 22 different bars, clubs, different places to dance at. It gets really, really, really crazy here at night. You can yeah. barely walk on the street. You're this like place, inching. <laughs> it's lively. Everyone wants a picture with Leah. Oh, we got two. It is just so <laughs> hilarious because we see people taking pictures of us all the time. Like we're just looking off in the all distance. All the time. And it, it's so funny because they try to make it like so sneaky. Not noticeable. They act like they're on FaceTime. <laughs> right. And there's this one time a woman literally came up in front of us and started taking a selfie of her and then shown it to us. And just today, two old ladies wanted to take a picture with me. So it's just like, it's hilarious. I just love it's it. It's interesting being different. Yeah.
Okay, so we made it to what I like to call Umbrella Street, and there are so many different types of shops here in Lujang. There are shops selling tea, you can taste all the different kinds of tea you want to taste. There are shops that have drums, you can try out all these different drums, although I don't know why you'd want to pack that in your suitcase and take it home with you. There are shops that are making their own jewelry, you can get it customized, engraved, whatever you would like. There are clothing shops, there are fruit shops, and we're about to find the rose pastry shops. Fantastic. They actually have shops where you can go and get in traditional like Chinese culture wear and they'll do your makeup like a geisha and you can go out in the streets and take pictures. Okay, so we were gonna get the rose pastries over there, but first we figured we might as well get fruit and energize ourselves. You get a bucket, they help you fill it up with like what fruit you want, and then they cut it up, and then they weigh it, and you pay. Kiwi, dragon fruit, watermelon, pineapple. Now they cut it up for you. I've ever been so excited to eat fruit in my whole life. Mango, dragon fruit, kiwi, there's watermelon and pineapple in here. We got it for 28 won. So here's some history on Lijing in under 30 seconds. It was built 800 years ago during the Song Dynasty under one family, the Mu family. And they decided that just in case there was ever a siege or they were ever under attack, they would never build an outer wall. So that's why there's no outer wall. It is super large in here. I don't know how many buildings, but there are 395 different small bridges over every single canal. It is fantastic and they call it the Romantic City. And it is just absolutely beautiful and it attracts thousands of people each year. Okay, so we just finished our fruit. I promised we would get the rose pastry. We just have to find it first. There are a lot, but we have our favorite one, and I don't remember what street it's on. Again, this place is huge, so we'll be looking for it. Another interesting thing about Dolly is that the waiters all go outside and I guess do like a pre-warm-up excitement thing before they actually start serving anyone at the restaurant. Doesn't seem that exciting though. We, for the longest time we thought it was tofu, so we were like, that doesn't sound good. It's like cooked dough, like bread, like a bun. Yeah, like a bun. And then the top part is just sweet, and it doesn't have any flavor to it, other than it kind of tastes like bread and sugar. the rose pastries. It's just basically dough with roses and a little bit of sugar inside. Wow. Very fragrant. You're literally eating a flower. The puff pastry is so puffy and it depends on which flower shop you go to. Some have a lot of filling. This one happens to have just a little bit. And so I like the balance of the bread and the rose pastry. They're only three so it's 50 cents a piece. Great pick me up for the day. And 
really cool part of the old town is it's actually inhabited by locals. I love that it's not just a tourist trap. People actually live here above their shops. There's children playing in the street, people learning everywhere. It's amazing. So we have found this place that has dumplings. The whole time we've been in China, we've been a struggle to find dumplings because we don't really know what's inside. But this lady showed us the meat that's inside because she's making them fresh. It's gonna be amazing. We came across this woman actually like making them. Like, we scrolled up and she was making them fresh. And Zach just filmed her like put those fresh ones in our bowl soup. So they're cooking in this really hot broth. I just can't believe we got fresh dumplings. I'm pretty sure it's pork inside, and the dumpling around it just like melted in my mouth. And it is just so wonderful here in Lijiang. We've had a wonderful day, fulfilling day, just walking around the old town. It is so calm, cool. The atmosphere is just so wonderful here, and we've just had a very nice, calm day. Yeah, I had no idea it was a mountain town. This place is amazing. If you ever get to come to Western China, you should definitely check it out. It's beautiful. Recording? Okay. <laughs> we can get fruit, which is where. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. I think we did pretty good.